you know, a lot of people don't really realise how much the arts really do um, infiltrate into their lives. I mean, you watch television. It's, it's art. There's lots of different arts that you're watching right there in one, in one programme from the cameraman, the photographer, mm. And, um, you know, the studio set. Well, you have the, and ma- the makeup, lighting. the costume. Yeah. It's it's all there. The the arts of, of should be much, a, a lot more important should be placed on the arts and the development of children in our schools. Do you, Mr. Roberts, as a teacher? Um, having been in education for my entire life, um, having never left schools, um, I have had the privilege of being super confident my entire life and in my professional life I have been there after school and during school when every deputy principal or in some sense principal will give a tour to either a, an expert uh, educational provider, a new family coming to the area and of course the number one thing they do is they show them the places, they show them around the school and what are the family doing? Well, they're experiencing the sights and the sounds. So, of course, you go to the beautiful arts studios and galleries. You, you go to the beautiful art spaces. And then you go to the music space and you see instruments mm. because good instruments look good and a good place, a music place looks good. Would you take them into a math room? Yes, valuable, hugely valuable to education, undeniably. But it's not necessarily a visual feast and or a sensory feast in the sense that the arts give you. Um, of course, there's also just the general smiling and vibe of the students. Of course, you're looking for the human experience. But mm-hmm. I think that's a huge strength of the arts, that you get people that are comfortable in themselves or learning to be comfortable in themselves. So I'd say if my perspective on the value of arts at school is where are the highest people up in the school? Where are they putting their time and money showing people around? It's the arts. It's the bits that the parents go, this looks great, this feels great, it sounds great, the environment's nice. It's not a, a standard classroom for a... Apologies, a generic social science, history, yeah. or, of course. And, and of course, all of those have their own art, as you say, uh, Jane, infiltrates, art infiltrates everything. So, of course, history is film and media and the whole world is propaganda. People are influenced in every sort of way. But I think that's probably my response. 